Protect your privacy online with the best VPN for gaming, ExpressVPN. And visit expressvpn.com slash gillymaster linked in the description to find out how you can get three months free. The agency property added in the contract update comes with a lot of different perks that some players don't know exist. And in this video, I'm going to cover all those little perks and abilities you have access to after purchasing your very own agency. So let's get right into it. In general, without even purchasing the armory or personal quarters, you have access to free snacks both at the top floor and the bottom floor of the building. At the top floor, you will find them behind the bar area right here, and on the bottom floor, they will be in this bowl on the table here, so there's no shortage of snacks in the agency. There are multiple drinks placed around the building. You have multiple places where you can drink alcohol. There's a junk energy can that you can drink at the top floor, which will raise your health to max when doing so. Behind the counter, there's also a pink colored drink called Limey's Juice. It's basically the green juice from the other apartments, except it's pink instead, and this one also refills your health. The vending machine you can of course use to drink even more junk energy, except you will have to pay for it, so you might as well just use the drink on the counter there. There's a room with a ball you can use that also has some alcoholic beverages, there's really no shortage of drinks either. If Chop is in Franklin's office, you are able to walk up to him and pet him, and there's actually a reward that you get for doing this. A lot of the time though, he's not going to be there for you to pet him, which is unfortunate because if he is in any other place besides in Franklin's office, it doesn't seem like you can pet him. Now if you purchase the personal quarters upgrade, you will be able to set this as your spawn location, use the wardrobe, shower, bed, and pretty much everything that any other apartment or property that has a personal quarters upgrade. The armory is another very important upgrade and one you're definitely going to need if you want the new weapons. Think of this as your own personal ammunition, but better. Here you can purchase new weapons, upgrade and modify your Mark II weapons. It's the only place where you can get the new compact EMP launcher and the stun gun. Armor is also available for purchase, which is the first time you've been able to get armor inside of a property. I personally think there should be a free armor spawn in here just because of how garbage the armor is, but that's a topic for another video. You can also buy gear like your breathers, night vision, stuff like that. And to finish off the armor, you get some free ammo and a health pack, which is funny because the junk energy drink actually gives you more health than the health pack does. Moving down to the first floor now, we have the agency services where you can request a vehicle to spawn outside in to drive away quickly and seamlessly. Request helicopter, which basically does the same thing as the personal vehicle request, except you're in the air in a helicopter instead. However, there are only non-weaponized aircraft available to spawn in here, with the agency Super Volito being free to use. The last perk on the list is the SUV service that has a few different locations that you can basically fast travel to, like Del Perro, Polito Bay, and LSIA, just to name a few. Heading on down to the garage now, you can actually check which vehicles have new Amaya Tech upgrades available to them on this laptop here on the top floor of the garage, and you will need the vehicle workshop upgrade to be able to add this Amaya Tech to the eligible vehicles in the garage. Outside of the agency property, you do have a few abilities available to you via the phone contacts. If you phone up Imani after getting far enough in the DLC story to unlock her as a contact, you will have access to the out of sight ability and sourcing a motorcycle. The motorcycle source is kind of useless, it costs $2,000 and all it does is mark a bike on your map that you can use. It's a lot like the Lester located vehicle option, except it costs money now. The out of sight ability, however, is something to take notice of. I'm sure many of you have seen this option and have just been wondering, what does this do exactly? Upon activating out of sight, a circle with a 500 meter radius will form around you with your player model at the center of that circle. And as long as you stay in the gray circle, you are completely off the radar from other players. They will not be able to see you. Unlike the other off radar abilities that have a timer on them, this lasts forever, but there is a catch. The moment that you engage in combat with any other player, the ability ends. Even the smallest form of damage you inflict on another player will end the ability. You can, however, shoot at another vehicle, and if a vehicle is armored, you're able to hit it with rockets without ending out of sight. And even if you aren't even in the circle and you go to attack another player, the ability will end as well, which is kind of stupid. And once it does end, you have to wait another 10 minutes to activate it again, which cannot be skipped unless you restart your game. It also for some reason does not stop the orbital cannon from locking onto you, which would have made it a very useful feature, being able to create a permanent spot on the map where orbs just can't track you, but unlike the Lester off radar and ghost organization, that's just not the case here, which is very stupid. Its uses for PvP are pretty much down to getting just one surprise attack on an enemy, or maybe somehow using it defensively to evade a player chasing you, both of which could be better achieved using Lester or the ghost organization though. 
But Gilly, what if it's supposed to be a PvE ability to help hide your cargo and stuff? Well, we did test that, and the results were not good. Doing something like diamond shopping, I had my friend Doritos call up Imani and activate out of sight, and his dot was gone, but the diamonds still show up on the map, so that doesn't really help you at all. This isn't really a detrimental factor, though, because even Ghost Organization doesn't work for this job. But even general cargo, I did a 3 crate cargo mission and when all the crates were publicly visible I started the ability up and my friend could still see the crates on the map so it doesn't hide special cargo either. I then had him do a crate mission and the same thing happened, his dot disappeared but I could still see the cargo blinking and moving around the map. So Ghost Organization also takes the cake in that department too because it not only takes you off the map but it also hides your cargo. The only sort of use I could see for this ability would be that you could just chill in an area with your whole organization or MC and maybe do a car show or something. In terms of off radar abilities, it is the worst one in the game because it doesn't block orb targeting and it doesn't hide your cargo either. And it costs $12,000 to activate this, so it's kind of a huge wasted opportunity. I'm glad it's not just another timed off radar ability, but this could have been so much more useful. You know, maybe instead they could have made it so it hides your blip when you are 500 meters or farther away from other players. So it'll be relative to each player instead of just like a flat spot on the map. It would be kind of like the Red Dead Online player blip system where you only see the player blip if they are close to you and then they disappear when they're far away. And on top of that, they could have made it to where it applies to your cargo too. Other than that, the same principles would apply where the moment you attack someone, the ability ends. That would have made a much more useful PvE ability, but instead we are left with a very situational perk that you probably won't be using very often in general gameplay. Now on to Franklin's abilities. When you phone him up, you of course have access to requesting security contracts and payphone hits when you have those unlocked. You can request an agency SUV, which is an armored jubilee without a money tech on it though. Could be useful when you're trying to drive to a personal aircraft because you aren't allowed to have two personal vehicles out at once because this doesn't count as a personal vehicle. The SUV service is kind of like the ability that we just went over except you have an AI that drives you around. It's basically a taxi service except with an armored jubilee instead. And unlike the service from your agency, it doesn't fast travel, you actually have to drive there. And his final ability is the supply stash which spawns a bag of goods for you to retrieve. It gives you some ammo, I think I got like 2 RPGs or something from it, some armor. For $5,000 it's really not worth your time to drive to that location just to pick it up. But guys, that is all of the perks and bonuses that you have access to by owning an agency. I want to give a huge thank you to my friend My Doritos for helping me record and test for this video. And I do hope this video cleared some things up, especially about the out of sight ability. I haven't seen too many people talking about that, probably because it, uh, it's not that good of a perk. If you enjoyed the video or you did find it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.